Armando is wearing the, the, the American yeah. flag scarf. It's like, bro, we all know you're Mexican. Right? <laughs> Yo, bro. I know we're in SoCal, but damn. <laughs> okay, Armando having the setups with the grenades leading into that C4. Very early, sizable lead. Now, stop Ronan real quick. Man, so much damage already. Like, not even 30 seconds transpired on the clock, and Mars already taking away a huge lead here. Or, excuse me, Armando. I'm looking at the percents like completely backwards. <laughs> and this is uh, also like, you, you tend to see this. I mean, grenade, especially with the way that Mars is playing right now, it's like you're gonna get, get contest a lot of grenades and explode right in your face. I mean, really, really in the neutral, Armando is going to have the advantage of yeah. all these setups, all the projectiles. It's just when Armando is off stage, this is where Mars is going to excel. ZSS having the capability to come in there with the back air, with the boost kick, with the flip kick, and make it very difficult for Snake to try to get back to the stage. Okay, finds the grab. Just gonna go for the immediate forward throw. That's something we're gonna see a lot. Forward throw into Nikita. After all, the forward throw doesn't really set up into too much else. The Nikita goes really yeah, fast. Yeah, these high percents. The next grab we see, we're gonna get that oh, down yeah. throw instead to get the confirm with that up tilt. Armando again, of course, going high with the snake Ooh. air dodging to the ledge, but Mars completely ready for it, going in with that forward air. Yeah, and that, that uh, down throw to up tilt confirm will connect after 160, so really the grab would have worked at that percent, but he's not gonna even need it. He finds the back air and uh, evening out the stock count. Yeah, got that ledge pop back here. Fantastic stuff. Speaking of back here, Mars entering back with one of his own. Gets the forward throw for this tech chase. But I love that from Armando using the low profile from Snake. Yeah, he's yep, so did it good. again. Yeah, right making there. sure that the Nair's that crawl do not is connect so good. the way that Mars wants. Yeah, and I mean, it's unfortunate for Mars too because that's uh, one of her main approach tools and that's her, a lot of her combo starters as well. Yeah, I think really the only way that Mars is going to be catching Armando with that neutral air is if he Woo! goes even lower and deeper with that move, but it doesn't even matter. Quick kick one more time, getting that stock. Mars taking away this really clean lead, only at 51% on his second stock. Armando trying to slow it down, getting caught out of the grab, okay? So we see that the uh, low profile isn't going to work against uh, Zero Suit Samus' side special. Stay underneath him. Not even worried. Neutral air, forward air, and he is just eating the pleasure of up air. Oh my god. Right, that was really smart of Ar Armando. He knew uh, Mars was gonna just continue pressuring his shield, so he sat there holding shield with a grenade in hand, which actually caught Mars off guard. Hello, Mars the C4. Not ready for the C4 there. Ends up getting caught. But Armando with a very good spot to try to make this back. Ends up getting the neutral air. And the C4 is still on the platform. Something to keep in mind. Mars is gonna have to remember that because the setups are gonna be real. Oh, Ooh, I, right, I, dude, I that C4 went out. I thought it was. Oh, the Nikita killed, actually dude. covering him as well, but he has a new C4, placing it down one more time, going around the grenades as well. Yeah, and I really like that actually that he preemptively detonated the C4 in order to put out any C another C4, maybe causing Mars to not notice that he had done that. Yeah, so Mars actually in a very dangerous spot. I think one up to it will go ahead and seal up the stock for oh, Armando. Absolutely. He has a grenade in hand. I thought we were going to see it up right there. Almost connecting with a back air though. Oh, all right. Great directional air. Oh, oh my goodness. The up tilt. Ooh, it came in right before the side B came yes, out at that. Yes, dude. Oh my god. Armando moving up. Game one here. And this is pools, so we these are only best of threes. I think we don't even get any best of fives until tomorrow. No, all best yeah. of five is tomorrow. All so best yes, of fives this are is tomorrow. going to be a best of three. And you have Armando taking that first game. We now see Mars, one of the favorites of possibly take the tournament here. Fighting for his winner's life. Yeah, absolutely. Mars being one of the top seeds at this tournament and considered to be one of the top of the top players in this game. Contender for best, for sure. Uh, he's got some tournament wins under his belt. You know, one of the few players to have won in Ultimate so far. Oh, definitely. Mars yeah. has found so much success here in Ultimate. Just riding the wave. I mean, being sponsored with, with Panda Global. Samus, man. And that, too. But here we have it going into Game 2 now, Edmund. Game 2. PG Mars versus Armando. See how he's going to be able to clean this up. Yeah, running it straight back to Pokemon Stadium with that, too. I think here in Game 2, we're going to see Mars be that much more aggressive. And 
and really the biggest change that he needs to find is an answer for the Sprout that Armando has been going for quite a bit. The low profile making it very difficult for Mars to get a lot of his combo started. Yeah, I mean, the one thing that I have seen so far connect against the low profile uh, Snake's Crouch is the, uh, the side special actually does clip him when he's down there. But now knowing that, like Armando could go into that crouch animation and potentially bait the side special and hit him with the immediate up tilt as we saw at the very end of that first game. So yeah, something to keep in mind. Yeah, the side special has oh! quite a bit of startup. I'm not sure. Yeah, I have no go? idea. Forward smash? Not gonna be enough. No way. Yeah, I think honestly at that point he might have wanted to go for a neutral, a neutral into air the into the kick possibly. Kick, yeah. But hey, you know, Mars plays a character. We do not. Maybe it's just not the right sense. Yeah, more than likely, but there's another up tilt. That's such a strong attack. It's yeah, going to take very around, early it stocks. Was <gasps> anti air at that while Nair leading into the C4. Hit him with the stomps one more time. Yeah. Armando right now is just rolling. Tech chasing with the down air, getting so much damage off of it. Uh, already 72% on the board. Missing the boost kick. Mars is probably kicking himself for that one. He really needed it. Here's another one. I think he, oh, oh that dude, he just is gone. exploded. <laughs> Goodbye. Still, 72% on the board for Armando here. This is definitely really good. Yeah, Armando trying to set up one more time. He's C4 at C4 kill percent. In the red at that yeah, C4 kill will probably kill right about now. Maybe, maybe, I mean, just a few more percent and the up tilt's going to be online as well. Snake's such a character with so much potential in this, in this game. But this is exactly what Mars needs. Couple of, a couple of forward airs, calls out that double jump with the back air as well. Mars reclaiming the lead. Right, up smash, keeping Armando stuck on that platform for a bit. He is starting to use these neutral airs a lot more, but uh, just not quite spacing them on shield as he needs to. Definitely, and honestly, just one thing we have yet to really see from Armando is the usage of the Nikita. A lot of times he's just trying to set up with these grenades, with the C4, and a couple of the up smashes. Okay, landing on him with the back air. He's got Mars at 117. Up tilt will definitely kill right about now. He's looking for it. He knows. Yeah, he's ready. He's like, come in with neutral air, please. I'm ready. Yeah, man. Just <laughs> crouch it into the up tilt. Like, dang. Yeah, oh, oh. Landing again. Ooh, Ooh, he got that air dodge, but unfortunately did not get rid of the Nikita fast enough to get the up tilt. But as I say that, landing another one. Finds it. He sets up the C4. See what he can do with it. Uh, and that was really smart, the way he was able to find that stop. Oh, oh no! Forward no, Smash is going to do it, Mars! Oh, no! no. Alright, forced to recover high! Wow, dude, Armando really bet it all on that forward air. Would have been really hyped to see connect. Mars actually laughing about it. It was sneak in that back air and was secure so game close. number two. That was so close Oh my connecting. god, dude. Yeah, that was wow. terrifying. All right, Could so you imagine losing that way, dude? Uh, what, what's two. funny? Like he was actually going to die if that connected. <laughs> I know. Snake's forward air spike is ridiculously it's strong. strong. Yes. It's, it's not it's very like easy hit. to connect, but No, it's no, no. It's like getting strong. hit by Gen and Dare. Yeah, dude. That's You're nasty. not making it back. Oh. There's no meteor cancel in this game. I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. So we're at one apiece now. Mars able to stay alive. But we are on Armando's counter pick. Did not catch the stage. But, you know, it's, characters are staying the same. But Armando switching over to the red camo. Actually, like, Armando is showing a little bit of, like, you know, his, his uh, dual citizenship pride right there. He, he's got the American flag, and I, I don't know, it's like, it looks like a, like a Native American thing, but it's probably like a, a like, uh, artisanal Mexican, like, shirt. <laughs> I'm just going to guess. That's a nice shirt. So, <laughs> Battlefield yeah, for interesting. Game I mean, uh, you know, Z Zero Suit Samus does get the platform extensions for her combos. I think it's more so he's looking at it for himself to set yes. up with the C4, the C4. set up with the grenades and whatnot to get the extensions himself. Absolutely. I mean, and we saw uh, that a lot in game two. He was actually, even with Nikita, he was actually able to force, like, uh, Mars to land in front of him and then you can punish with the up tilt. On this stage, the C4, actually, when you detonate it, it hits up on the platform and below the yeah, platform. I mean, it's so also it's really a very good. big stage and it also gives Ooh. Snake the access to go very deep off stage to try to have himself recover with the C4 if yes. it does come down to it. That's very true, yeah. So he's going to be able to live a lot longer and have better recovery tools on this stage. Armando is really just controlling the ground game, popping out all of these grenades, popping out all of these setups, especially with that C4. And more importantly, that up tilt is trying to catch Mars, oh just overextending, coming in with the backer off the, the cypher. 
Nice. Up tilt coming out too. There's the grenade, man. That's so good. You're able to drop the Second grenade. hit not connecting into one for the back throw. Mars right back off stage. Nikita threatening, but the dash attack still not enough. Not enough. Nikita is going to intercept the boost kick, taking that first stock off of Mars. Again, setting up the uh, C4 on this right platform. Oh goodness. Almost connecting with a grenade as well, but that was a clean 22 for Armando off the neutral air. And Armando is in the red right now, 116%. But for Snake, that's not really too much. He's a very heavy character. Doing really right now, well. Has Mars at 76 after that. Oh, he should. Another dash attack. C4 still there? I don't know where it is anymore. I think it's gone. That's right. Though. <laughs> <laughs> That's the hardest thing, man. <laughs> I mean, try, try, the worst is when you gotta play Snake without sound. No sound, yeah. <laughs> that sucks. That's not happening. Nope. Alright, high recovery here. Alright, punish with the up air. Yeah, there's nothing really else that Mars could do in that situation. Often to get any type of damage that he can. Side B is going to connect, taking it away. Mars sitting at 87% now. But as we've seen time and time again throughout this set, Edmund, Mars can just explode at any time. ZSS, that momentum-based character. Absolutely, but Snake on the other hand, a character that stops momentum a lot of the time with these grenades and these other explosives <laughs> at his arsenal. C4, Barely he drops another one. Out the woods oh. right there. Just like that, we have Mars. They still just evening up this game. Look at that. Grenade trading. Worthwhile. He's going to go up high again. Goes unpunished. Dropping through the platform. If he's able to get a grab right here, the up tilt will kill off of a tech He just parried his own <gasps> grenade. Dude. But there we have the down smash leading into the forward smash. Mars reclaiming the lead one more time. Yo, at a dangerously high percent. In fact, a lot of what Snake has is going to kill. That back air is probably going to kill. Up air is probably going to yeah, kill. Think, but at this point, he's going to look for these up tilts. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> right in his face, man. Why not? Oh, wow. Oh. Because the grenade yes. hit his shield. So it was so much smaller that Mars had the opportunity to come in and poke it with that border. Oh, he's still looking for these up tilts. He's definitely kind of fishing a little bit. Oh, definitely fishing at this point. Mars oh. is ready for oh. exactly what to do to get away from it. Nair, flip kick. That's going to be it. Armando so close of sending Mars to the losers bracket of Mars, able to clutch it out. That was looking so good for Armando, especially like after how game one went, how close game two was, and even in game three, he had a super strong lead at the very get-go, but Mars just showing his veteran experience and just how good he is in this game. Again, with the Zero Suit, an explosive, really slippery character, able to explode and just reclaim that lead. Yeah, I mean, at the same time, Armando just really displaying what Snake can do in this matchup. Yes, the SS can do quite a bit. You really just get so many of these hitboxes and explode, like you said, Edmund, and just making it more difficult to really get those combos started. Yeah. I mean, the crouch being the biggest thing, and that's one well, that's one thing that I haven't seen a lot of Snakes try to utilize themselves. The crouch, yeah, it's really, really, really good in a lot of matchups. I think, like, it ducks under so many projectiles. I think it probably goes under that Paralyzer. I know it goes under Wolf Blaster, so that kind of sucks. <laughs> For me, anyways. Hey, it is what it is. <laughs> Snake needs something, man. Yeah, he does. He lost he the glutes going into this game. Oh, yeah, that's a shame. Come on, man.